What's going on everyone? So, we have another video! Okay, so today's video, as you can ascertain from the title, is going to be on the main three principles slash methods, as I wrote in the title, but I thought methods sounded better in the title than principles. It's the way my brain works. But the three main principles slash methods of hypertrophy, so building muscles, or how can you build muscle? What three ways can can it be happened? To, like, what can you do to the muscles in order to make them larger? And this can be applied to any muscle, whether it just be arms, chest, back, legs, anything. It's not just like you can only do this for arms or you can only do this for something else. It might be a bit easier to program and do for certain body parts. For example, arms, you can hit them a little bit more frequently during the week, a little bit harder because they recover faster. They don't usually tax your central nervous system as much as say legs would. You, the program is slightly different, but the actual the methods remain the same for all of them, no matter what. Anything I say, I might just use like arms as an example, like biceps more specifically, just because it's easier. So the three methods are, method number one is muscle damage. Mes meth <laughs> method number two is metabolic stress. And the third and final method is mechanical tension. Now, some of you will be like, yes, I know exactly what that is. Some of you will be like, I have no idea what he's just said. I thought you just lift weights. You, yes, you're not wrong, but you have to do them in such a manner that is going to allow the muscles to go from small little ditty muscles to large, massive muscles. Let's go into what they are and how you can kind of apply them to a session. I'm gonna try and keep this very non-sciencey and just try and give you like facts and information that you can just take and apply. That doesn't take too long to understand, like you haven't got to work your way around it. It's kind of just like, oh, this is this, it does this, this leads to this. You do it by doing this sort of thing. Um, that's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and not make it too long, but like my time management when I do videos is crap. I'm like, oh yeah, I've only spoke for two minutes. 20 minutes of footage. Good one, right? Anywho, on to number one being muscle damage. Now, this is probably one that a lot of you are going to be familiar with. All about tearing muscle fibers. Everyone's always heard you've got to tear the muscles, tear the muscles, tear the fibers, microfibers. Bloody microfibers. <laughs> but every guy who goes to the gym at a young age is like, yes, mu muscle fiber tears. Doms. Doms. So muscle fiber tears, so muscle damage is what gives you doms. When you feel sore, like you've been absolutely stabbed in your quad after doing squats, that is muscle damage. That's because the muscle fibers have torn tiny, tiny tears, not like an actual tear because that's bad and that's actually an injury. Like you'd be out for like a month out with a big tear. So don't actually tear like that, but they're micro tears, very, 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 very fine tears. Now the idea of this is that when you mu you tear the muscle, the muscle then repairs, um, as long as it's got sufficient like protein from the diet, sufficient calories, and sufficient recovery and rest, then the mu mu I can't speak. The tears in the muscle, um, f Lord above. The microfiber tears in the muscle fibers effectively repair and come back slightly bigger. Now obviously they don't come back like triple size because that would mean you'd get absolutely massive really quick and that doesn't happen in that way. They come back slightly, slightly bigger and then you do that over time. Six months down the line, it's gonna be, instead of a slightly bit bigger every time, they're gonna be a sufficiently amount bigger. Sufficiently amount? But that's effectively, you tear the muscle, the muscle repairs, comes back slightly bigger, in turn makes your muscle size overall, the cross-sectional area, bigger. The probably key way of achieving these tears and achieving this muscle damage is through eccentric training. Now eccentric training is effectively the lowering phase of a movement. So if that's on a bench press, it's the lowering to your chest. If it's a curl, it's the lowering away from the top and the motion. Now eccentric training, you will hold, you will hold a longer eccentric, so more time under tension and effectively Four seconds eccentric is usually like the go-to number. It can be longer, can be slightly shorter. Slightly shorter is a little bit too quick, but there can be up to like 10 second eccentrics if you're a serial killer and just love pain. But effectively, that's the best way of achieving it. So you might do a bicep curl and get up to the top and then count four seconds on the way down. And it basically achieves more time under tension. Really, when you're stretching a muscle eccentrically, so you're elongating the muscle, 
under tent under load under resistance it does achieve the tears in the microfibers or the microfiber tears in the muscle fibers that's what i want to say so this actually leads me on to either point i could go either way here but i'm just going to go for my point two because effectively all these methods of hypertrophy can kind of cross over slightly into um you into the each other so you can have a main focus so you could say muscle damage is my main focus but you do achieve some metabolic stress in damaging the muscles and you also achieve some mechanical tension so there, there's a crossovers it's just you might just specifically focus on one more than the other in a certain exercise on that day or whichever so number two metabolic stress now metabolic stress is basically just building up me metabolic waste products in the muscle so lactic acid everyone knows it's just kind of building up all that rubbish almost inside the muscle really getting that burn it's almost that bro training of getting the pump you train for the pump that is effectively what metabolic stress is you you're training for that pump because that's going to build up loads of lactic acid in the muscle really pump all the blood into the muscle and that effectively is going to cause metabolic stress one method um, which is more only to do if you're advanced lifter and actually if you have the equipment is occlusion training occlusion training basically it's like a tourniquet it's just not as tight you're not going to lose a limb or have to go to hospital it's effectively it just restricts blood flow from the muscle so it allows that build up of lactic acid and waste products a lot faster and a lot easier so you could barely lift like body weight it's on squats for example if you put the occlusions around your and your legs and just do like i can't remember the exact protocols so i don't want to give you like direct information but say you did like 30 reps and that's like you'd be absolutely knackered at body weight like your legs would feel on fire and pumped up and just massive basically it's just a way of achieving metabolic stress quicker that time under tension i spoke about when i said about eccentric training that achieves more build up as well of waste products more metabolic stress so there's another way of achieving that as it does pump just lactic acid into the muscles and then the kind of other way kind of overall you can look at this per session or week uh, weekly but it's more of a session is volume training so it's just getting loads of reps in on that muscle um, might not be a heavy weight so for this one oh i didn't say for the muscle damage one oh, i'll give i'll give you right from all then at the end actually i'll give you reps and sets at the end of the video so stay tuned till then so we'll go on to uh our point three which is mechanical tension now mechanical tension is effectively just lifting heavy so you still want to lift heavy even for the arms so you'd still want to be able to curl heavy um, as like a compound movement for arms is your is your bicep curl barbell bicep curl So this is where the slight cheat reps come into play on these ones because you still want to get a lot of weight up So you can do mechanical tension and eccentric training at the same time So you get muscle damage and the mechanical tension and doing so you can almost cheat the reps up slightly And then really focus on that strict form on that eccentric phase You could do six reps quite clean and then do an extra two reps where you cheat the weight up but still get that four second count of the eccentric each time so you still you kind of tick two boxes with one with one movement there in one set so we're gonna go for muscle damage what you may do for that in terms of sets and reps you might do three sets eight to ten reps with a four second eccentric on each rep so if that was a barbell bicep curl you would curl up and then you would count four seconds on the way down what you might do to this is say eight to ten reps plus two so when you get to the point you kind of fail you can either get a partner in the gym to help you get the weight up or you can cheat the weight up and then slowly lower the weight down and still focus on the eccentric so you almost overload the set but still get an increased amount of eccentric load on that muscle as well as building up more metabolic stress you're almost ticking all movements so like the barbell bicep curl can be used as your compound and then tick every box almost in that one exercise if done correctly metabolic stress again if you've got occlusion cuffs you can use them if not you might do something like eight sets of 10 reps with 30 seconds rest between sets so you would pick a a, a weight that you can do easily or well, not easily that's not like you get to 10 reps and that's it you can maybe do 15 or 20 reps with it and you do set of 10 you'll feel quite like oh i didn't really work much there but wait then you'll wait 30 seconds and then you do another 10 30 seconds another 10 you do like eight sets of that by the end of it there'll be so much blood and waste products built up into your muscle you'll get such a sick pump but you'll feel like <laughs> your arms will burn for example if you do it on biceps and then mechanical tension is just get some weight on the bar don't be afraid to get some weight on if you're benching you could be doing five sets of five for example like get some weight through move through full range like if you're on a bench touch your chest don't want to see you know hovering above the chest let's go full range touch chest and let's press up 
let's get some weight for it. A lot of people, especially on arms and stuff, get some weight. As I say, on those cheat curls, the last two, you might die out at six or eight and then kind of cheat your way up a little bit or get a partner to just help you get it up. But as long as you're getting six to eight reps in at a heavier load, that's gonna get more mechanical tension. Therefore, you're gonna get more benefits out of it. That's kind of all I wanna say. I wanna keep it quite not too long. I try to keep it very simplified. Simplified? Sim I didn't even say that. Very simple in terms of just telling you the three methods. So you got muscle damage, metab met ooh, metabolic stress, and oh lord, mechanical tension. So it's effectively more time under tension, doing eccentric stuff, building up that lactic acid, having short rests, lifting heavy weight. Like it's it's a bit of everything. It's just everyone always knows this. So if you want to get bigger and stronger, lift more weight simple progressive overload want to get bigger everyone knows about time under tension and a lot of guys do just chase that pump like all the time they train for pump but it's a mixture of all three you can't just do one it's trying to tick all three boxes throughout your training block or your week or month that allows you to get the most out of it if you're only doing one and focusing on one so you might just train for a pump that's great but you're missing kind of the mechanical tension aspect and their strength element and there's, a, there's more, there's more that goes into it. These three methods I put very simply, you can delve into them a bit more and kind of understand a bit more of the science behind it and what happens through each of them. But I just wanted to keep this quite kind of short, kind of unsciencey, that you can just kind of understand straight away, get an idea of the reps and sets and then kind of go for it. So summarize on just like the reps and sets, muscle damage, three sets, eight to 10 reps, four second eccentric. Metabolic stress, 10 sets, 10 reps, 30 seconds in between, pick a lightweight mechanical tension five by five or something or that can kind of cross into the muscle damage kind of section that's kind of it god knows if that came out right or not who knows i just at the end of the day i know what i meant <laughs> that's all that matters right if i know what i meant then you not knowing it's my fault but i understood it anyway if you did like it please hit the thumbs up button if you didn't like it still hit the thumbs up button because why not you're here you may as well also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So basically, if it says subscribe, then click it. If it says subscribed, thank you very much, to be honest, thank you. Just make sure the bell is clicked because if you didn't get notified that this video has gone up, then you haven't got that bell ticked, which means you haven't got notifications turned on. So I would suggest doing that. Also, if you want to drop a comment, drop a comment. Kieran, if you're watching this, I expect a comment. Everyone look in the comments for Kieran at some point because he'd probably put something stupid. And if he doesn't, he's a bad friend and a bad person and didn't actually watch this video because I'm not going to tell him I said this. So we will see. But until then, I'm leaving. Until what? I haven't said anything. I'll see you next time. So until then, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Peace out. Later. <laughs>